Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you the following things. First, how to run a container in a detached mode. Then we'll see how to start and stop a container, how to inspect a container to get low level information. And then at the end, I'll show you how you can fetch the container logs. So let's get started. So there are basically two ways to run a container. Either you can run it in foreground or in background. So I actually downloaded one image. So if I do Docker images, you can see I have downloaded one more image called Nginx. So Nginx is basically a web server. So if I want to run this image, I mean, I want to run a container in foreground. What I can do is Docker run hyphen P. So this is for port mapping. So if you don't understand this, doesn't matter we'll cover this in the later videos so what i'm basically doing is i'm mapping the port 80 of my host to the port 80 of the container it's as simple as that all right and then i say nginx so now you see the container has started the nginx web server has started but i can't go back to my shell if i want to do anything i can't go back so the so running container in detached mode actually gives you two benefits firstly you will get your console back you'll get your shell back so you can do whatever you want and secondly is that you can run it as a service or a daemon so you can run a container as a daemon uh, like you do on a no, I mean, like you normally run a service right so you, it runs in the background and you have your shell to work on so let's do control c over here and you can see if I do docker ps, I don't have any containers, right? Now what I'm going to do is run this container in detached mode. So to run the container in detached mode, it's very simple. Uh, you do docker run. There's a flag called hyphen D or hyphen hyphen detached. So we'll use the short form hyphen D. Then we'll say hyphen P. Again, we'll do the port mapping and then the name of the in image and now you see it just returned a random string of characters or alphanumeric characters and you have your shell back right so now if i do docker ps you can see i have a container running right and it's running in the background it was created 14 seconds back and it's been up for like 13 seconds and you can see the port mapping over here. So this is what basically running container in detached mode means. So now we have a web server which is running on our uh, machine or in a Docker container and we have mapped the port 80 to the port 80 of the host machine. So if I do a curl on my uh, public IP of this machine, let me grab the public IP. So if I do a curl and the public IP Sorry, I have pasted it twice. All right. So you would see that I got the Nginx homepage. I can't show you this on the browser because there's some limitation I have right now. So that's why I'm showing you this on a uh, shell, right? But this is what you will get on the browser as well. So we have got the Nginx homepage. Cool. Now let's move forward. Now let's see how we can stop and start a container. So if I do docker ps, you see we have a container running, right? So to stop a running container, the command is docker stop. So you can either take the name of the container, which is keen Perlman, or you can just grab the ID. So we'll use the ID. And you see that it has returned you the same ID. Now if I do a docker ps, we have no container running, right? So in the similar way, you can start the container. So docker start and we'll paste the same ID and it returns you the same ID. And now if I do docker ps, you can see that container is again up and running. Now let's see how we can inspect a container. So inspecting a container actually provides you very low level information. So let's see that. So docker inspect is the command to inspect a container. And again, we'll provide it the ID of the container or you can give the name. 
and you can see it actually throws out a lot of information right so let's just see what all information is there and there's a lot of information which is very useful i mean a lot of information probably you would never use but a lot of information you would use so let's go at the top and see so it has the id the date and the time when it was created what it is running and some args let's go down and see so you can see it gives you the network mode which is default port binding and let's go down more there's a place where it gives you the ip of the container as well so that is what i'm looking at or looking for so this is you can see there's lot and lot of information you see the host name of the container it is same as the id of the container right what are the environment variable uh, inside the container image it is using the thing i'm looking for is so the gateway is here mac address is here and yeah so this is what i was looking for the ip address of the container so you can see it has the gateway ip and the ip address on the container so this actually has a lot of information you can probably go through and it actually helps in troubleshooting some issues all right so let's move forward all right so the last thing which we wanted to cover is how to get the logs of a container so many a time your container would be when it's running in background you probably won't see what it's actually doing like if it's running in foreground everything would be printed out on the console or the shell right but if it's running in the background you won't have you won't know what it's actually doing or uh, you won't actually get to see the logs so docker actually gives you the command to fetch the logs of a container and the command is very simple you do docker logs and you just give the id of the container so you can see we got all the logs of this container this is one way to view the logs you can do something very similar like we do i mean the tailing of the logs so you can do the same thing in the docker as well so the command to do that is docker logs and we pass the parameter called hyphen f which stands for follow and then we give it the id of the container all right sorry let me clear the screen docker ps let me do first let's grab the id and do docker logs hyphen f and you can see now so anything new which would be appended to this log would be printed or you could see it over here so this is how you basically follow the log or tail the docker logs all right so this is it for this video guys this is all i had for this video probably i would want you to go and practice have a, your own docker setup and practice all these commands all right let me know if you have any question in the comments i'll get back to you with your answers if you have any suggestions just put it in the comment and i'll get back to you so yeah thank you for watching guys and please do subscribe to the channel before you leave